Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Laura Plansker's latest work in the Secret Layer spoiler drop, Diabolical Dioramas, and why it is my favorite to come out in a very long time. Stick around. Welcome to the new setup. I uh, got some shelving, changed the camera angles. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, but, uh, oh yeah, also, stay to the end of the video. We're going to go over some, like, tinfoil hat uh, theories that I have about this hat and how it's going to do in the future. So seriously, stick around. You're going to want to. Um, but let's dive into the first card. So I'll throw it up uh, in the corner here. But the first one is Aura Shards. And if you guys didn't see the spoiler video that dropped yesterday, it was it was insane. So first off, before we even go over the cards, um, the art style is very reminiscent for me of like Coraline or um, kind of like Corpse Bride. Actually, probably like The House. If anybody has seen The House on Netflix, that movie was um, very creepy, <laughs> by the way. But it reminds me exactly like that with all the animals being um, being sort of the main characters. Um, but yeah, so Aura Shards um, is the first one that dropped. And it's just essentially like a three-eyed cat that's <laughs> jumping around this like Victorian decorated room and just destroying everything. And then the actual card itself is a screenshot from the diorama where the card's just like jumping out kind of like this <laughs> in the... The chaos is behind them, and it's absolutely incredible. And I just really think this is something that we haven't really seen in um, in secret layers or magic in general. Is this idea of um, sort of stop motion um, creation? And I really do think that artists like these need a voice in magic. You know, whether you think it belongs in the main set, anything like that, I really do think that these these artists um, have a voice that that can actually be, you know, spoken out through the game of magic. And Aura Shards, I think it, I think it's a perfect fit. You know, the if you've seen the amount of chaos that <laughs> that can happen to a board of and commander with uh, Aura Shards out, it's it's pretty insane. So it it really does tie in well. But yeah, let's hop into the next one. All right. So the next card, throwing it up, is Fiend Artisan. Now, Fiend Artisan, if I'm not mistaken, has not had a reprint in quite some time. It's a very good card, kind of like um, kind of like a birthing pod sort of effect. And uh, yeah, it gets one one for each card in your graveyard. Got it uh, in the corner here so I can see it. But if you haven't seen the video for this one, it is so creepy and like the stop motion just does something for it that, that I really can't explain it, it gives like a sort of like uneasiness to it like uh, the fiend artisans rolling in in his little like little cart and, he, and it's all decorated in bones and everything like that and he's dropping off packages of bones to i guess his customers or something like that or maybe people he's trying to freak out but yeah it's an ultra creepy card uh, the video does it wonders but the screenshot's really good with him kind of like looking behind at you like like you almost caught him doing something and yeah I mean, awesome reprint, great art, flavor, 10 out of 10. Really, 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 really nice card. All right, and this last card, I actually didn't <laughs> didn't notice they even dropped the spoiler until I started recording this video. So I'm this is my first look at it, and it's Gravebreaker Lamia, which honestly, I, I don't... I, what set is that card from? I, I didn't even I didn't even look it up. I just wanted to start recording, but... The, the video is like super, super creepy. She's like this snake sort of priestess and she's raising this coffin out from the dead and, and, the, and the body is like a sword through the head. It's, oh, it's just so, it's not gory or anything like that. It's, um, it's just very raw and very, uh, uh, it's just unsettling to look at. And I, and I really do think she just absolutely knocked this one out of the park. I really cannot, I, it's it's awesome. So all of these cards, by the way, sort of, you know, fit perfectly with the art style. Sometimes you see secret layers and it's just like, oh, I don't really know why, um, you know, these cards are like that, but, uh, or why these like cards like sort of like tie in with uh, with the art style, you know, you'll, you'll see that from time to time, but, it's very rare that the art 100% matches to what the card actually is and, and the art matches the flavor and everything like that. And when you get that, you get a big, um, 
a big boost in positivity, right? And that's and that's ultimately what I wanted to talk about in this video. So I'm glad we got to go through the cards. Um, I hope my editing was fine. <laughs> um, please give me a break. It's my first crack at it, so you know it, it is what it is. If it's terrible, but um, but yeah, the, it's so rare. It really is so rare when you get um, just cards that fit with the art style that you know ma Magic commissioned. Um, Obviously, you see cards like Loot that come out in Thunder Junction. So like I was saying, um, it's very rare. Sorry, Biggie was barking. But uh, it's very rare when you see a, a card uh, just match the flavor of the artist, especially with these secret layers. And I really think that Wizards and uh, Laura Plansker just hit this one right out of the park. So big home run there. Um, and honestly, if you look at the comment section on all these, you'll see the positivity. Everybody seems to like it. You know, even the people that want to throw like a weird little jab at that uh, uh, Mana Vault lottery card, um, even they're pretty positive about it. They, you know, they'll just make like a pun about, oh, they'll just make it a lottery card. But yeah, I mean, these, this is probably my favorite secret layer to ever drop. And I will be getting it um, immediately, right when it drops. I think this is so flavorful. I'm Usually when I get secret layers, I got to be honest with you, I just hold them. But I think I'm actually going to get one to open up and, and I'm just going to find a deck to put these in. Because they're really, really, it's really just stunning, to be perfectly honest with you. And and just flavor-wise, you look at the, I'm looking at it right now and it's just like so, so incredible. Yeah, so honestly, in terms of flavor, in terms of card, in terms of reprints, 10 out of 10. Really, I... I I have no complaints. So let's get to my hair-brained, you know, tinfoil hat theories. Oh, no, this looks super dumb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I look like I look like crazy Sherlock Holmes. So great. <laughs> okay. Right. This is a serious video for real. All right. <laughs> okay. So my tinfoil hat theories for this one. Um, personally, I do not think that um, the Fallout Secret Layer will sell out before this set. I think this is the best received uh, secret layer out of the bunch that have been um, spoiled so far. And I truly, truly believe that this one is going to sell out day one. Now, there is a very high likelihood that the entire super drop will sell out day one just because of the hype around the fallout thing. And because of this, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I gotta be honest with you. I, I think, I think the hype might actually be more for this, that I've seen at least, than for the Fallout. I mean, the Fallout reprints are kind of shitty. I'm not even going to lie. And these are actually good reprints. People will play Aura Shards, guaranteed, 100%, especially your Sliver decks. Oh my god, a Sliver deck with, oh, oh my god, I could feel the pain in my head just thinking about playing against a Sliver deck. But, I mean... And then on top of it, you're getting a lot of graveyard help. Like Fiend Artisan's a really good card. Grave Baker, Gra Grave Breaker Lamia seems amazing. I'm still looking at I'm, this art is incredible. You need to see it. Well, you're gonna see it because because of the editing, the power of editing. But my second, I mean that I I feel like I feel like that's you know a pretty reasonable theory to have, even though I'm calling it a tin hat a tinfoil hat theory. But my second tinfoil hat theory, I do actually believe that Wizards and Hasbro strategically um, spoiled the fallout with that lottery card because I think they knew they were going to get some backlash on it. Now, while I don't think the lottery card thing is a big deal, you've seen it in my other video, I, I really couldn't care less. I and to be perfectly honest with you, if you pay for the set hoping that you're going to get a uh, Mana Vault, then your heart's in the wrong place. I'm just going to say it. That's my that's my opinion on that, if you're still here. Um, but I think they strategically did this because they knew the backlash was going to be very high on the Fallout thing. But they also know that, you know, I mean, even though they shouldn't, people are going to buy it because they're trying to hunt for the, for the Mana Vault. And that's not, I got to be honest with you, that's not Wizard's fault. Um, I just don't believe that. So, uh, but I do believe that they that they knew there was going to be some backlash for this. And I knew, um, and I think, what am I trying to say here? I think they knew that 
and they did that first, but they knew they were going to follow up with amazing, amazing art like this and people would forget immediately. And to be perfectly honest with you, at least from the comment section, it seems like it worked. Not many people were talking about the lottery cards, maybe a couple that were memeing, but they still even liked the artwork. So to be perfectly honest with you, I think even though people th think Wizards did a not great thing, they definitely um, they definitely sold it the right way. And, I'll, and you know, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, um, it is what it is. It happened. And the hype is, I think, going to be pretty unreal. So, um, yeah, but that's what I have to say about that. If you guys enjoyed the video, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you subscribe. Um, you know, my name's Alex, Greatest Moose. I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, I appreciate everyone for being here. So thank you very much. Welcome to Moose's Cards. I'm not Moose. And you can too. Subscribe.